Hey everyone, Jen Jerkis here, and I'm back with another video for Honeybee Stamps. I'm so excited to be using these new Lovely Layers Strawberries die sets. My one card turned out to be two because I wasn't quite sure about one of the backgrounds that I was creating, but after I set it aside, created a new background, I fell in love with the first background again. I guess that's just how it goes. So I'm going to be using, like I said, the new Lovely Layers Strawberries die set, and I'm going to be die cutting all of these pieces out of the Distress Watercolor cardstock. I'm going to be using this guide that is included when you buy the die set to help, well, guide me. So I have all my pieces here. I have a half a sheet of cardstock laminated that I use for my palette. And I'm going to be using Distress Reinkers for watercoloring today. You could do the same thing that I'm doing with your Distress ink pads, and you could just press your ink pad down on the palette, but I wanted my colors to be really vibrant, really saturated. So I'm using some crushed olive here, and I am watercoloring all of the base layers. So all of the first layers of these lovely layer die sets. And I'm just adding a little crushed olive. I'm using my Ranger heat tool to dry them. I can't tell you how nice it is to be using the Ranger heat tool, which is a diffused heat. So it's not blowing all my little pieces all over the place like an embossing gun would. Now I'm coloring the leaves. The leaves are only one layer, so I am having some fun in mixing some crushed olive and some peeled paint distress ink all together. And now I'm working on the strawberry tops, those little leaves on the tops of strawberries. And again, I'm using crushed olive. The base layer for the strawberries, we're not going to really see much of these, but I didn't want any colors to peek through that I didn't want seen. So I did add some crushed olive to those as well. Here is the little centers of the flowers. I used some fossilized amber. Here are the flowers. I used a little spun sugar distress ink. Again, keeping it simple. And now is where the fun started to come in. I'm watercoloring the strawberries. And so I'm mixing in, I start with some saltwater taffy. And then I'm doing a little bit of shadow with festive berries. And then I'm doing a little bit of highlight or discoloration that you see on real strawberries with mustard seed. Here I am zooming in so you guys can really see the process. I love how the dyes have detail to them. So right away, the ink is going to pool and stay in those crevices and add some texture. So here it is with saltwater taffy, a little bit of festive berries, a little bit of water to smooth it out, and a little bit of mustard seed. So here I am layering all the lovely layers together. It's really not as many pieces. It's not as cumbersome as it might look. So I added the flower layer onto the base layer and then the centers of the flowers. Then on the strawberries, I am going to lay the greenery at the top of the strawberries. And I like to kind of just lay them where I think they go first and then start adhering them. I didn't want to start adhering them and realize I had two of them mixed up or what have you. So um, here I am just adding a little bit of the Honeybee Stamps Precision Glue to the backs of those toppers and then I am laying them down. It's nice to use a wet glue as well because you have a little bit of wiggle room. You can adjust them and move them around. So now I'm adding the strawberries to the bases. This way they're gonna have some stems or they're gonna be part of the strawberry bunch. And again, super easy. It really isn't as complicated as it might look once the cards are all put together. I was pleasantly surprised. So now is where I started to create my background that I 
did not love, but then fell in love with again later. So I'm using the Whimsical Hearts background stencil and I'm using some transparent Distress Crackle Paste. So I place that on a sheet of Distress watercolor cardstock, the smooth side. I let it dry. You wanna let it air dry so that the cracks really, really form. And now I am using some watered down saltwater taffy distress reinker to add a little pink to the background. Well, I wanted to kind of make it a bit more shabby chic. So now I'm adding in some tea dye. I should have just used the reinker of tea dye. It would have been a faster process. But again, sometimes you're in the mode of creating and not thinking clearly. So I dried my background and I didn't love it. So I set it aside and I'm like, okay, I'm going to make a different background. So I splattered some water onto another piece of distressed watercolor cardstock and I'm using the same colors, the saltwater taffy and the tea dye. This time I grabbed the tea dye reinker because it was much easier to work with and I splattered water first because I wanted to kind of have an organic lay of the ink instead of it looking super uniform. And you could see I added some of the colors down. I let the water run around. I dried a layer. I then splattered some tea dye and salt water taffy. I dried a layer. Now I'm splattering some water droplets and some more watered down tea dye and drying a layer. Lots of layers here. Lots of layers. Now I am softening some of those edges with some watered down tea dye. Again, just trying to make it look super organic and just a fun inky background. I'm trimming this background down to be four by five and a quarter. And I am flipping through the new um, Gingham Happy Hearts pattern paper. Found a piece that I liked but I decided I needed a little more tea dye. So I'm inking the edges of this panel with some tea dye distress ink and I am adding it to the background paper. I started to arrange my strawberries and my leaves and I'm like, well, they're not really popping that much. So I decided to gently ink the edges here and there with some ground espresso distress ink just to kind of give them something that makes them pop off of that background. So here I am adding that, and now I am starting to figure out the arrangement. Once I figured out the arrangement, I started from the bottom and adhered that first really big strawberry with um, the precision glue tube. And then I started adding the leaves with that precision glue tube as well. So those are nice and flat. And now I'm adding some foam squares to the strawberry bunch. The little strawberry stems, the little vine, I wanted to add some precision glue to that so that they wouldn't pop up and go anywhere. And as I'm putting in the loose strawberries and the loose flowers, I'm adding um, some foam squares to the strawberries and the flowers, but then the stems I'm using precision glue to have that adhere flat. So I'm just kind of filling in where I feel it needs to go to kind of fill out the card. I even trimmed some of the stems to just make it work. So here I am. I got that card. I'm pretty happy with it. I go ahead and stamp and emboss a sentiment. This is from the new You're a Keeper stamp set. And I used black Versafine, stamp it a few times, and then embossed it in clear. I love, love, love that there's coordinating dies for sentiments. I'm never going to stop saying that. It just makes it so much easier. You don't need to fussy cut out your sentiments. And I'm going to go ahead and ink up the edges of this white cardstock with a little bit of tea dye to kind of go with the trend of the rest of the card. I'm going to use some foam strips on the back of the sentiment, and I'm going to add that to the card up in the upper left-hand side. Once I get this on, I have to add a little sparkle. I might not be glittering all of the things, but I am going to add some of the new crystal glimmer enamel dots and the happy hearts pearls. I really, really love how this came out. 
And again, I fell in love with that second background. So I trimmed it down and I added some more pattern papers and I added another bunch of strawberries, another black embossed sentiment. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. So don't give up on your backgrounds. You might fall in love with them later. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I'll be back soon. Bye.